there we have the generator current test for this seven, supposedly 7 kVA generator. At the moment sitting here running, I have no power. Zero. Zero current. And what I'm going to do is start two vacuum cleaners. And I have a three bar electric heater sitting here. Three bars of 500 watts each bar, so a 1500 watt heater, and two 24 or 1400 watt vacuum cleaners, so to give me 2800, uh, 2800 watts of power. So I'm going to start the first one, which is now you can hear that's changed. So now we're drawing 1380 watts. The one, I'm going to switch the other one on, and you'll also hear it. That's changed. Okay, so at the moment, now with two vacuum cleaners going, we're 2,722 watts. Okay, now I'm going to introduce one bar on the heater, on the heating element, you see up here. Got zero. Now I'm going to introduce low. So that should be one bar. And that will increase 3,331 watts. That's with one bar going, one heater element. See the heater element on there. And when I go to turn the second one on, the second bar on now, and there the generator's cut out. Right, so the display is saying over, over power. I'll just turn that off. And there you go. 3,300 and you turn a 500 watt element on again and it just trips out straight away. So it's only doing approximately 3,600 watts maximum capacity before it trips out and saves itself. Which is, that's fair enough, but to my line, to my understanding, that's only the capacity of a 5 kVA generator. And that's exactly the same specifications as listed in all the 5 kVA generators all over the internet that are being sold everywhere and yet you guys are claiming this is a 7 kVA but it closes down at exactly the specifications of a 5. Very suspicious to me. So I, I, I'd like an explanation as to why that's only performing like a 5 kVA generator.